so good. And you flip it and you kind of, I love them so much. Oh, like so much butter, so much butter. And then like, kind of like a thin film of Vegemite, but all the way to the, to the edges. Like, I don't want the Vegemite to, I basically want like butter and like a bit of salt on toast. Well, there's a couple of ways to eat a meat pie. Um, I know some people take, like, like they put the sauce on the lid, they take the lid off and they eat, eat like the rest of it. For me, I would let it cool down and I'd kind of like chip away. So like I'd take like the base away, kind of leaving the lid. And then like I'd have like the last third of the base and then I'd kind of, I crushed the lid over so it became like almost like a crunchy taco kind of. So you like the crunch, but then you had like the, it was almost like a taco, if you know what I mean. Like you got the base of the meat part, you know, like you eat that bit away until there's only like that much left and then you crunch that over and you flip it and you kind of, so good. Cause you get the crunch and it's like not as hot then as well. So less, less danger of burning taste buds. So you can taste stuff for the rest of the day. Anyway, try it. Vanilla malt, so good, so like creamy, so yum. That reminds me of like summer, going to the beach as a kid. One of the most iconic things is the boomerang. I think, you know, it was something that was, that is so heavily steeped in culture, has been here forever, but is also been a way for the rest of the world to connect to Australia. They've connected to it through the prism of that. And it's like so iconic, you know, um, every, every, you, you, you could go to just about every corner of the globe and you show them a boomerang and they'd know what it is. My memory of the Hills Hoist is for games, but that's because I was, when we had one, or when I lived in a place that had one, I was too young to like, be doing the washing. Not too young, but like I was at that age where your mum does your washing for you. I was like seven, um, teen, no. Um, so yeah, for me, it's like games, like running up to it and like jumping and then like, you know, spinning around or going over to someone's house and playing Goon of Fortune or that kind of thing. But drinking responsibly. I reckon like snakes would be good because you've got so many options because you can just like manipulate their body however you want. Whereas if you have like a lion, it's just like, or if you have like a kangaroo, it's just like, if you have a snake, you can go like, like you can go like horizontal, you can go vertical, you can make a love heart if you want. You could like do it like a, like a weird box. You could do a circle. You've got options with a snake. I haven't thought about it any longer than since you just asked that question. It seems like I've thought about that before. I swear I haven't.